If you've ever had a design that was just too big for your hoop, you are not alone. Today we're going to be diving into something that can totally change the game for you. Multi-hooping. Multi-hooping is exactly what it sounds like. It's the ability to stitch out one large design across multiple hoop placements. So instead of being limited by the size of your machine's hoop, you can break your design into sections and stitch it in parts that come together like a puzzle. Here's the deal. Instead of dropping $500 or more upgrading to a bigger embroidery machine, you can usually get a larger hoop for as little as $15. And with multi-hooping tools and hatch, that hoop becomes so much more versatile. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a multi-hooping file using Hatch. Whether you've never tried this before or you maybe just want a refresher, you're going to be walking away ready to stitch something much larger. So today I have another custom order that I want to show you guys how to digitize. First thing I do is click copy image and then I bring it over into canva.com. Now this customer requested a five by 12 size design. So I'm going to change the units from PX to inches and then the width is 12 and the height is five. And then I'm just going to click on create new design. I'm going to exit out of a couple of tabs that I'm not using. And now I'm going to paste the design into the Canva document. And now I'm going to make sure that this design fills up as much as possible inside of Canva. So now it's basically as big as the hoop and this should fit in the hoop. It's going to take up all this space. So from here, I'm just going to click on share in the top right corner and download. I always download PNG files. Now SVG files are a lot clearer than PNG files, but Hatch and Bordery digitizing software only recognizes PNG at the time of filming this video. Once you're inside of Hatch software, go ahead and click on new blank design. And from here, you're just going to want to go ahead and locate the design that you just downloaded in Canva. And now I'm just going to click on auto digitize and click to fill underneath the drop down menu. And then in this pop up, I'm just going to make sure that the colors are only recognizing black and white thread because that's really all we need. And then from here, I'm going to click on select so that the image is being selected. And then I'm going to click on this second flower in the auto digitize drop down menu. And this specific flower is going to let me choose the colors that are being digitized. So I'm going to make sure that white is omitted because we don't need that. We only need the black thread to be filled. Then I'm going to press on OK. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually really impressed by how well that did. I was not sure it was gonna be very good, but usually if the design is pretty large, the software does a pretty good job. See, you can't even see the other half of the design because it's that big. Okay, so now that we have the design all finished, all we have to do now to make it into a multi-hooping file is go underneath the multi-hooping drop-down menu and we're going to maneuver some hoops um, to be on top of this design, basically. So I'm gonna start by turning this on its side here. And then as you can see, it starts to glow when any part of the design is basically within bounds of the hoop. So now I'm gonna click on add a hoop and I'm gonna turn it on its side again. And what this is going to do when you have two hoops overlapping like this, this is basically telling you that you have to hoop your design twice. So this red hoop is going to be the first hoop and then you're not going to unhoop the material, but you are going to move the hoop to the next set of prongs. And then that would stitch out the second half of the file. And that's going to be stitched out here in this blue side. And there is going to be some overlapping right here in the middle. 
And so the letters here, there's gonna be a split down the middle, split down the middle here, here as well. And yeah, so sometimes the gap might be a little bit noticeable, but as long as your machine doesn't move too much, you shouldn't really notice anything there. And then now all you have to do is do the same thing that you would normally do when you're saving the file. So I'm gonna download the EMB file. And then I'm also going to click on export design to save the PES file. And then from here, it's actually going to bring you to a second menu. And this is just to show you the different hoops that you're gonna have to do. So this is the first one. And in this first section, you're going to be stitching out the X, Y, and the N, and the E and the S. And then it looks like it's gonna stop right there. And the rest of the design is gonna be stitched out in the second stitch out section, if that makes sense. You move the hoop from these two set of prongs to these two set of prongs. And so it goes from stitching out this side to the other side. And then now all you have to do is click on save all now at the top. And then if you double check your folder, you should see the design files separated. So they downloaded by saving it, whatever you name it, and then they'll put a dash and a number. So if you have two different files, it'll be basically identical names, but the first one will have a number one and the second one will have a number two and so on if you have a third section for the design. So then it would be the same file type name dash three. If you have any questions about multi-hooping or anything of that nature, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'm more than happy to offer any guidance that I can. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.